So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at eight to one Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's leaving. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So remember, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit. Other than that, let's look at 801, or actually fit for the video first, which is this right here. Um, it's a little bit of a spoiler of a video that I'm making for the Vex set that we got for this season or episode, whatever. And I I kind of fuck with this one. Uh, the only problematic piece would be the Forbidden Visage Cloak, considering the blue right here doesn't change color. So I'm going to just ignore it because I think this set looks banging. But for the helmet, obviously, we're going to be using the Untethered Edge Mask. That's literally the whole point of this set. For the arms, phenotype plasticity grips. For the chest piece, Eternal Vengeance Vest goes really well with the digital variance ornament for star star eater scales um the white right here goes smoothly with the white right here which is why i love it and then again forbidden massage for the shader mercury vex chrome is what we're using because obviously we're going for a vex themed look there are some other shaders you can go for omnicronia is a good example for i think this is the like golden age vex look if i remember correctly like the what was it they're the future or no, no the, the past versions either way this one looks super dope continuum alloy is another good example and then the other shaders are going to be mercury vex chrome which is the shader i'm currently using on it uh this descendant chrome or this the descendant vex chrome which is the future vex if i remember correctly so to start off we're going to be looking at vitrified chronology this is a pretty cool shader. It is from Season of Dawn, which it was a while ago. So I definitely would recommend people to pick this up. So Vitrified Duality, I love this shader. It's really, really cool. Just be aware that the cl some cloth takes brown, like the cloak right here. But when it comes to like certain leathers and certain metals, it's just gonna look so cool like this right here. We have Bray Innovation, which I definitely would recommend uh, for certain looks. Titans, you guys have a specific helmet that would benefit from this shader. I'll go to the exotics to show you which one uh, in a bit. And then War Cult Endgame, which I definitely love just because that blue is so good. It's a blue and white, but there are some off colors. I think black is off color if I remember correctly, but still really good shader that you definitely should pick up. So armor sets, I'm not going to go through all of them like individually, but I will show you each of the pieces. So that way you guys are aware of what is up, but... I yeah let's just okay so helmet's pretty terrible for hunters the chest piece is pretty cool and the cloak I'm not the biggest fan of titans um your helmet's pretty decent your chest piece is definitely super cool your mark is definitely really cool you definitely should pick it up and then warlocks um helmet's trash chest piece is amazing legitimately probably one of the best chest pieces in the game for warlocks just because it's so unique and then the, let me go back to, the bond is pretty terrible. I would definitely ignore it. So that's pretty much it for that. I usually don't show those because honestly, they've been here since Forsaken. Not only that, but it's just, I would like to show them off, but it's just too much, especially with all the class items. Uh, for the exotic, let me show you which one I was talking about. So for Eternal Warrior, that shader is really, really good. The Brain Innovation shader just because it's gonna match this blue really, really well. So that way you, you can use armor pieces that look pretty good with this. I have made a video with Eternal Warrior. I'll have it up right now, hopefully, but I do, I think I use Bray Innovation on that one, if I remember correctly. And it's really, it's like at that time, it was like one of my favorite sets that I made because it was pretty cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up for me to one. I will say if you guys want me to make the like the rotations for at least the uh, Memory of Cade class item, the uh, Scorn chest piece, and the helmets. Let me know in the comments below. I can definitely do that one, but I just can't really do the other cloaks just because it's just so much in one video. To be fair, even the three that I mentioned will be a lot during that. So I'm still kind of like iffy on it. But if I see enough people ask for it, I probably will do it. Uh, for Banshee, he's selling Chrysura, Mellow, Outlaw, and Frenzy, Nature of the Beast with Quick Draw and Dragonfly, The Vision with Grey Robber and One for All, Shepherd's Watch with Outlaw and Opening Shot, and Just In Case with Relentless Strength and Incandescent. That's actually not bad. Um, my only issue is defeating a target spread Scorch to those nearby. More, like, if it wasn't defeat, but more like each, like, the more damage you do, the more uh, buildup of Scorch 
you do, this would have been so dope. Not saying uh, Incandescent's terrible. I love this perk. It's just, I would have liked it if on top of spread Scorch to those nearby, I would have loved it if it was each time you do damage, Scorch builds up and then explodes. That would have been way, I mean, to be fair, that probably would have been a busted, <laughs> way busted thing, but I just think that would have been way cooler. Um, so yeah, those are the weapons. I definitely would not pick any of these. Um, Chrysura Mellow is pretty decent, I guess. I'm just not the biggest fan of Outlaw. Um, or not Outlaw. I'm not the biggest fan of Frenzy. I think Frenzy is a overhyped perk, especially since, like, most of the time it's not proccing for me, which is why I fucking hate it. I feel like it never procs on me when I want it the most. And it procs when I'm like, okay, like, I'm already done. I'm just killing, like, the small ads. And Frenzy's like, oh, I got you, dog. But let's talk about Zer real quick. So Zer is selling... Wait. No, I have that. Uh, Acre Acreous Catalyst actually goes hard. I definitely would recommend this one. Uh, Mida, honestly, I would ignore this. Fucking, the perk on it is fucking trash. Um, Shards of Galanor. We have Armamentarium. Damn, damn. That's, that's some good perks right there. I'm almost tempted to pick this bitch up. Um, uh, Karnstein Armlets. Oof, that, oof, the mobility is way high. Uh, Vanguard Engrams and then Hinterland Cowl, which I mean if you don't have that helmet, I guess that's pretty cool I hate this quest um, just because you got to do 21 activities, which is pretty terrible but I Probably will pick it up again and just do some bounties because I still need to get the last exotic for the Titans But actually fuck it. Let's just pick it up now um, So let's look at more strange offers, which is Oh, it's just this. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that. Let's go to this one. So for exotics, we have Hawkmoon with final round. No, uh, quick draw. Sorry, I was reading the wrong thing. Uh, Crimson, Merciless, and then the Queen Breaker, which, yeah. For weapons, we have Night Watch with Snapshot Sights and Multi-Kill Clip. Chroma Rush with Feeding Frenzy and Thresh. Uh, Truth Teller with Pulse Monitor and Swashbuckler. Tarnished Metal with loot, uh, or Shoot to Loot and Dragonfly. Outrageous Fortune with Snapshot Sites and Rampage. Code Dulo with Surplus and Unrelenting. And then Quick Fang with Energy Transfer and On Guard. So I definitely would recommend this one. Night Watch is really, really nice. Snapshot Sites and Multi Kill Clips not the best combo, but still, I would still pick it up. I would ignore this, even though it's Chroma Rush. Feeding Frenzy's Trash and Thresh is meh. Uh, Tarnish Metal is also a Red Border weapon, so if you are interested, definitely pick it up. And for the armor sets, it's going to be the Mercury Planetary Armor, which I don't even know if I have that, but I mean, we'll see. Either way, I mean, I do have it. I meant in, uh, like, the rotating the armor thing. I don't know if I've done it yet or I have to record it, which is going to be a bitch. But this is the armor set right here. I'm going to have to go to collections because I don't remember this armor set, like, at all. So let me go to World. It's going to be right here. So the Kairos Function Set for all the classes. Hunters. <sighs> I think the chest piece is decent. I think the boots, I don't think. I've used the boots before. I like the boots. The cloak, I like as well. I think the arm and the helmet are the only pieces where I'm like, they're whatevers. I don't really care too much for them. Titans, the arms are really cool. The chest piece is decent. I think the boots are whatevers. And the mark and the helmet are not that great. Specifically, the helmet, the white mask thing does not change color. So it's just, if I remember, actually, we can just find out real quick. Let me see. Because uh, I don't remember it changing color, right? My Okay, so it does change color. The red the red right here doesn't change color, which is unfortunate. Um, which one was I thinking of? Oh, I was thinking of Braytex Snow Helm. That's what the one I'm thinking about. Um, and I'm just not the biggest fan of the mark because uh, it's just the one that's on the side and is nothing special in my opinion. Uh, Warlocks, I don't like any of it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think the helmet's like very decent. like, And I mean that in the sense of like it's barely decent close to trash arms chest piece everything is just like like very whatever is like i have no opinion about this armor set i do not care for it nor do i hate it because that's just how much it is nothing to me so warlocks let me know if you guys like this set so that is pretty much it for zur usually we just look at the armor and that'll be it from now on considering this is the format it is i'm gonna be honest with you i like the fact that zur sells a lot of stuff now but I hate that the currency they gave him was the strange coins because now it's just another material to like farm for. And 
yeah, like that. I'm un- I'm really annoyed that they took out legendary sh- uh, shards, but then we're like, oh yeah, we're introducing this for Zer, and then it's like, okay, so like, did you just want to make us poor? Because that's just, in my opinion, kind of trash. Um, even though it's like, oh, well, newer players, it's like, honestly, legendary, like, acquiring legendary shards is not that bad. If you're playing the game consistently, you're going to be getting legendary shards regardless. So, I think it's just them just making, oh, they're, some players are just too rich. Let's just nerf them, which is terrible. Um, so, Eververse, we have Cloud Striding Kotor, which is a new shader. This looks pretty cool with plate armor. So, Titans, look out for this one. Or just get it, because that's, it's being sold right now. Ace, Ace is full of kings, which is, I definitely think this is a Cade 6's shader, even though we already have one called a, I don't remember what it's called, but we do have another Cade shader. Um, Intrepid Discovery Cloak, which I'm not the biggest fan of, just because uh, at the top is just super big. I will show the other classes in a bit. Sparrow Getaway. And then uh, for the stuff at the bottom, we have Iridescent Death for Crimson, which I definitely think is cool. We have Egregore Shell, Sea Foam Glide, Assembly Stinger, Rocket Stomp, Circling Sharks. And then for the transmat effects, we have Cannon Fodder. We have Catch Flight Entrance. And then Jade Coin effects. For the shaders, Whispered Sheen is what we're looking at. I have, I've made this video before for the shader. Definitely check it out. Um, if I forget, I do apologize, but I'm working on multiple content right now. It's not even funny. I'll explain after we're done with it, Eververse, but... Yeah, definitely check it out because it's a really, really good shader. Um, we have Vibrant Medusa, which funnily enough, the exotic that I showed you for the Titans, the ornament that it has for it goes really well with this shader. We have Bruised Blush. Does not look bad with this set, actually. I am almost tempted to use this shader. And then uh, Lilac Bombast. So that is pretty much it for your weekly update. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all of the vendors that we looked at. So, first and foremost, I have all the armor for the Untethered Edge for everyone. I'm currently making the review video and the shader video is already done. The individual cla- or the individual pieces videos is already done as well. I just need to edit it, uh, do the voiceover, and that's pretty much it. And when I say pretty much done, I, f- I mean the hard part is done, which means uh, getting the footage for it, making the sets, and then like editing them in a certain way. All of that is done. I just need to do the voiceover, which is completely simple. I literally do these off the fly because I already have so much years of experience that I don't really need a script anymore, even though I would like to write a script here and then, but it is what it is. For the other things that I'm working on, I'm still thinking about the still hunt fashion. The only the only reason I say still thinking about it is because uh, we don't have this shader. This specific color combo we do not have in game. And that's really bugging me because I want the same color. Um, I might end up using a new monarchy color scheme, even though it's not the same red and gold. I still might do it. Um, it's just there's a there's a few problems with the still hunt fashion that I'm going through, but I'm still probably going to do it. Um, the other videos that we're going to be making, obviously, it's going to be the new exotic ornaments. Um, actually, before that, I haven't showed you the in- the intrepid discovery stuff well okay i'll be right back i guess all right sorry about that uh, intrepid set for the titans specifically the mark i love this mark this is one of my favorite marks for titans just because uh it has a holster and a grenade and it just it, it, it goes well with something that has like a militaristic slash like officer vibe uh and then for warlocks uh it's trash <laughs> legitimately i hate it uh so yeah that is pretty much it for that uh, I don't remember what I was talking about because my internet went down and I totally forgot the train of thought that I was going through, but I did talk about the videos that I was working on. I have a bunch of projects that I'm currently working on, the new exotics that the classes got. I'm currently working on that for the Hunter specifically, uh, the Gifted Conviction. I have 
the boots already done as well i'm just there's so much work that i'm going through in such little time that's like my biggest annoyance now that i have a full-time job is just i don't have enough time in the day to really work on this channel as much as i used to to be fair i'm looking back and i i really needed to i really pissed myself off because i could have been working more on this channel but yeah i'm gonna be working on that uh, in the back of my head i still am trying to think of the discord patreon youtube memberships um streaming there's a bunch of things that i that is in my head and i'm just currently trying to sift through and be like what can i do now which is a lot of the content that i'm making and i also want to start the second channel it's just like i have a lot of things i want to do with such little time it's really annoying but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all coming up to this point remember let me know what you guys are thinking about the desk or about destiny 2 um do you guys liking the expansion are you guys liking the fashion let me know in the comments below other than that be safe i will see you guys later